It's 2K22, New Year. Haters got my face, but the squad is still here. They nerfed the small forward, so the point guard for this year. I'm still gonna bring you the news, so sub here. The Boot Squad is an organization. We all on top, and then y'all kinda basic. And on the black top, hope they know what they facing. The Boot Squad, you turn into a playmaker when you subscribe. Yeah, boy, Boot tells him on the scene, wicked dead mean with a next video for y'all man so y'all know what it is by now take some time out bless up your boy and like up this video definitely help the channel out because you know your boy gonna always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2k community so let's get straight to it man so i saw a big patch drop this morning man all right i think it's like 20 gigs on playstation and 22.3 gigs on the xbox right and this is for current gen nba 2k22 now a lot of people out there because 2k when you ask them about uh patch notes and stuff like that um they already pretty much dropped the patches remember last week when they dropped the patch notes for the last patch they actually put this right below saying upcoming patch notes right and it's upcoming right at the bottom saying our next ps5 and xbox x patch scheduled for next week will bring continued stability improvements improving loading speeds when we enter in the city remove and reduce hitching when on vehicle on series x consoles removing tipping from dj boots when propping near quest npcs and more so pretty much they're gonna say stability issues again but i ain't over and i got some info for y'all man a few things 2k failed to highlight when they were dropping all these patches last week as well apparently these patches was aimed at patching the gym rat badge glitch because they definitely fixed that out of the game the badge glitch for chris brinkley was patched as well and they also been removing a lot of the kiosk that's been around the city remember there were a lot of kiosks around the city outside the malls where you could purchase certain things now last night gambit actually my guy gambit i run with actually highlighted to me that some of the items he was seeing in these kiosks outside are now in swags Yes, this might be falling under stability issues, but as I said before with the glitches and stuff like that And this is why I don't like glitches especially earlier in the game It seemed like a lot of the NBA 2k20 glitches are working right now So there are a lot of similarities between NBA 2k20 and this game because glitches they know bro They go back and try all the glitches that used to work back then <laughs> It's weird like glitches really set up and okay, so we had a bunch of glitches that used to work in 17. Let's try them. Ah, it didn't work. 18. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, 20. Oh, oh, oh 20 works. So it seemed like a lot of these glitches go right back and try previous glitches. And if it worked, good. So the reason why I don't like glitches is because now it gives 2K a little excuse in terms of fixing the game and making it work how it's supposed to work. So they focus more on patching Chris Brinkley and uh, Jim Rant badge glitch. Like they patch that crap fast as hell. <laughs> Instead of wor working on fixing the game. In fact, they drop a patch that made the game way worse last weekend, right? And I ain't gonna throw y'all. I actually read out, reach out to this guy, Brutal Sim. He made this post on the 13th a few days after the game dropped. The audacity of Brute. He said, I can't front. Hashtag NBA 2K22 might be the best 2K ever. Now, I did reach out. I like, bro. You no, know, because I know a guy that know a guy. I like, bro. What do you think about 2K now? And he, you know, the smart ass, what he gonna say? He said he did say might. I said, bro, nah, you can't drop this might in front of me. What do you think about 2K now? And then he said he pleaded the fifth. I'm like, bro, what do you mean you plead a fifth? He said he plead a fifth. I'm like, nah, 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 bro. Nah, bro, you're not even in the US. You plead the fifth? People like this is who y'all so. This is people like this is who y'all like, bro. Imagine. Huh? But the 2K guru, my ass. Anyways, man. But but don't worry, I, I'm organizing an exclusive interview with this guy right here. All right, with all his comments. He's been uh, tweeting a bunch, a bunch of outlandish stuff lately, man. I think someone needs to take his phone away. I keep telling y'all that. But anyways, man, just a quick update for y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think. Um, As I said, 
they pretty much said what they're going to patch this week and i think they're going to definitely have to add stability issues to that because it's been bad for the past few days as i said before if y'all i know if y'all missed my last video right if you play pro m3s that's running the smoothest I've been playing it damn near all weekend and not one error code, not one shutting off console, nothing. But, got one caveat, it's sweaty as hell whenever you decide to play that Pro Am Freeze, yo. It's sweaty. All the sweats are in Pro Am Freeze, bro. Even the regular low level people are sweaty as hell because, yeah, they're part of a bigger team and sometimes when they got five, they run Pro Am Freeze. So, anyways, man, just a quick update. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Sim, first time to the channel. Make sure like the video, share the video, and hit your boy, your sub, subscribe. <laughs> If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video, you never know who's gonna be informed, y'all. Your boy Simon, love, respect, bless up, peace. peace.